made possible by 343 Hey everybody, Studios. it's the Nathan 343. Guess what? We got another package from Exton. Exoton. Exton, Exoton, something like that. Let's check it out. It's right here. I bet you want to see it? Ah, I want to show it to you. Check this out. All right, so we're not exactly on the, the uh, product table today. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of stuff else going on here in the room. Uh, but this package is too big. I have to box it on the ground and I needed kind of a deal. The camera is, uh, let's just say a little on the dead side. We've been filming a lot and I forgot to charge it last night. So we're going to go ahead, cut this course box inside a box. That's totally fine though. My cats and kids, this big mess is a bit of kid inside like boxes. So we're going to go ahead. Just leave the other box inside. So we got all kinds of goodies in here. We are just going, to, oh yeah, this thing is loaded. We're just going to take everything out from inside this box. I bet you probably want to see how it comes in the box. You see, we got the outside box, the inside box, and then we get these. These are obviously going to be the tripods. It's always good to have extra tripods. Um, we got something in here. Let's see what's in here. We have another microphone and an XLR cable, XLR and XLR. So that goes in. Now again, these have a little tab right there and inside the microphone has a little tab. So this, this set will only go in one way, so you know you line it up. So we get your microphone. Now, according to the microphone that I got with the last speaker, it's not as heavy. This is more of a heavier, this is a more of a lighter duty the microphone, but it's the same way. Looks the same, just comes with XLR. Um, doesn't say what brand of XLR that is. Well, probably one of their brands. Okay, so that's what's in that box. We have some cabling here. I just open this up. It's like, oh, they sent some batteries. Awesome. Hey, if you send batteries with your stuff, that's that's awesome. Of course, we got the deals here. We've got a couple. We've got another remote. I think this is pretty much the same remote as we had from the last speaker. Actually, it is the same remote. I have the other remote right here. So now we have two remotes. This one seems to be just a tad bit wider and a tad bit bigger. You can see there the comparison. So about the same remote, just a little bit bigger. We have a power cord. Now this is IEC. Now I want to tell you, if you have other IECs, longer IECs, any IEC will work. All right, and then we have a cable here. We're just kind of going through this. Now this is a Speakon cable, and Speakon is the new XLR to me. <laughs> so we get a pretty decent size of Speakon there, and we'll take these speakers probably in the living room where I can set them up in a bigger room. And we will show you guys how to hook all that up. I'm just going to leave it all wired, uh, tied there. Of course, we get the booklet and we get the batteries for the remote. So, awesome. We're going to go ahead, probably just go ahead and cut the speakers out of this box. So, if we have some really, really old... Um, styrofoam. Now it has a handle here. You can see it there. We're just going to go ahead and grab hold. Very light speaker comes right out. We'll go ahead and toss that back down in the box. We'll go ahead. That was probably the passive one. Yes, that is the passive. One of these is going to be heavier than the other. One pass, passive. One is powered. That in there. This one's backwards. Yeah, this is a little bit heavier. But this one has an amp in it. already are in box. Alright, so there's that. 
very very nice amplifier here on this lots of uh oh this has eq on it so the other speaker did not have an eq on it this one however does speak on hookups for your passive speaker that's awesome and this one here we're just gonna pull that off very nice little speakers and i believe yes they have lighting in them and they say x done right there very nice it's got the good really nice cage around it these will probably be uh I want to say maybe theater speakers. If I can figure out how to hook these up to my TV, I'm gonna set these up on either side of my TV and use these for theater speakers. Um, or if we have a you know an outdoor party and we want to take these to a friend's house, which we do have some fall parties coming up, maybe we can use these. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, tripod set up, which I'm pretty sure I'll go ahead and unbox one here with you just real quick, and we will see if they're the exact same ones that came with the other ones. It looks a little taller, which these being a little bit bigger speaker, I would suspect they need to have. Alright, I guess it's a bag. So we'll go ahead. It looks like it's the kind of looks like the exact same. We'll see if it goes any higher. Get this bag off of here. Now look at that. Nice little stand. Oh, I think these are a little bit bigger. So again, you've got your power right here, the LED light, the LED light off. You have your power for the whole unit for the amplifier. Let's go ahead and turn the lights back on. Speak on, which comes with a pretty good amount. There's probably uh, 10 feet there maybe or so of speak on cable. Of course, that does lock in and will not come out. You've got your heat sink for your amplifier, which is a little warm right now, but not too bad. We've been kind of tinkering with it. You've got your master your, uh, EF F level, which I believe is probably your reverb and a little bit of this. You've got your level here for your MP3 that also controls which side, uh, what do you call it? So if you have it, I think to the left to the right, I believe that's what that thing is. You have your master here. You have a two master basically, so you can crank this up and that up and really kick some butt. We're not going to turn that up real loud in here. You've got a uh, mic in here, or you could probably hook up some sort of um, guitar or other something else and use this as a uh, amplifier for your guitar. Uh, you can also change the level here of the mic. You've got your reverb control down here with a red line on it. You do have quarter inch hookups if you want to use quarter inch, and then of course you have XLR. As you heard the deal there connecting. All right guys, so we have the speakers hooked up. Very, very simple to hook up. Speak on out of the bottom left side of this speaker, and then you run it to whatever side you want on that. Now the cool side is if you had another one of a, well, at least a passive speaker, and um, you could, I would think, come out of this one. Because it has an output. And you could probably daisy chain another speaker into that one. Right now they're running 8 ohm. If you obviously hook another speaker up, that drops it to 4 ohm. And one more speaker after that drops it to 2 ohm stable. So yeah, of course the lights do bounce to the music and bounce to my voice. They change color when I stop talking. They go back into a random pattern that they have. It does have reverb on it, so you can make yourself echo and do all that cool stuff. They do sound really good. It does have an EQ on it. I do have an EQ sounding really good. I don't know if the uh, camera's picking it up right now, but it looks really good. It would make a really good entertainment, you know, if you have an area in your house uh, that you want to use for karaoke or game night or if you're having a big church party or something, you want to use this to do a PA uh, that would be perfect. You could also turn off the reverb. And it sounds like this. So you could be like, hey, don't spill your tea. Or hey, pick up after yourself. Or don't drop the box of donuts. I just gave a hundred bucks for those or something. You know, just <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You
Again, you do not have to use the lights if you do not want to. They have a little button right down here that says LED. You can turn those off. Magically, the speakers do not have lights around them, but if you need them, they're there. If you don't make it more formal or for a business or something, you're there. They're there. All right, so we have the speakers on. I barely have the music turned up on the deal. Of course, my phone is running the uh, audio here and it is making the uh, speakers sound really good. The bass sounds really good. I have the EQ queued up just right. I have a little bit extra bass, a little kind of mid treble, but they sound really, really good. I mean, I wish, I mean, I know this camera is not gonna do that bass or the sound justice, but it's, uh, pretty darn cool when that bass hits and I do like how the one speaker doesn't seem to be catching up as quite I notice it's lagging a little bit it's trying to do the sound active there it went there it went back to that it's probably right into the middle of the deal where it's it's kind of right where oh do I do the our auto or auto programming or do I do the all right guys so in final review and final thoughts here I think these speakers are a very good affordable beginner speaker for anyone looking for a PA system, a Bluetooth system to put in their house for home parties, for birthday parties, uh, you could even use these at churches, uh, outdoor events, uh, they're really cool for just about anything. In the coming weeks and months, I will be putting this speaker along with the other speaker that I have from them to the test and doing final reviews on all of these products, so stay tuned for those videos coming out in the next coming weeks. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Drop a like if you like the content, and we'll see you in the next one.